boys, today we got rained on. But before that, we had a solid, solid bite of sea bass, surprise lane snapper, and we get introduced to the spawn of Satan if it were a fish. Yes, a lizard fish, everything about it, the bone structure, the mouth, even the shape of it, all satanic. But it was a super fun day. The ocean was absolutely as flat as it could be, especially for this time of year, which days that you can even make it out are numbered. It was a great day. It was super fun. And of course I had to cap it off with eating something disgusting. But have fun laughing at my paint and enjoy the video. What you got? Oh yeah, target species. He's gonna be close. Man killer. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Nice, man. That's definitely a keeper. In the boat, fish that boat bay. Yeah. There you go, you're doing something. It's 1-1, one, one. tied now. What do you mean 1-1? One, one? Yeah, it's keepers, <laughs> not what's caught. Oh, now we're changing the rules. No, oh, that's always the rule. The that's production right there. Thanks for being On again. Oh, you got a double. You got sea bass and a red snapper. That'd be. <laughs> Feels like a red one. Yeah. <laughs> Feels ready, looks red. Apparently on this side of the ledge, that's where all of these guys are hanging out. I'm trying to catch them all so Nathan can get them sea bass. Yeah. They're getting bigger though. They are, they're growing. Mine's kind of, maybe, oh, it's kind of feeling like a bass now. What you got over there, Nate? Yeah, that's a good double. In the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Oh, I got one too. Yeah, how about that? That one of the, those are both definitely keepers. Ha! Huh. Yeah, heck yeah. This one doesn't even need to get measured. Yeah, I'll take that one any day of the week. Pretty guy. That's awesome. Right kind. Ooh. I think he's the right size too. Yeah, he is. Nice. Pretty green head, look at that. Pretty guy. Oh yeah. Look at that, pretty collars. We just caught another keeper and uh, Looks like he threw up some of our old pieces right there. We're using cut up grunts right now. <laughs> Looks like uh, he got his share on the first drift, but the second drift, he's hanging out with his buddies. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, it's the right kind. Looks like he's good. In the pail. Oh yeah, Go ahead. A good start. Five, six, seven. We got one limit. Look, this is pretty cool right here. See how my rod tip is straight down? And that line right there is just like that. I'm gonna lift my rod tip up. Look at that. That's my sinker that's marking like that. That's pretty cool right there. Pretty interesting. And I'm gonna drop it again. And so does the mark. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Technology. Where would we be without GPS and fish finders? Lizard fish! That means we're on the sand. What is it? Lizard fish. A lizard fish. Yeah. It is different. I've never thought of that. Ooh, 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 ooh. See how small that guy is? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stop it. Oh no, these things are super aggressive. They got nasty chompers too. Look at that. I wonder what these things taste like. Probably not good. Ooh. Woo! Nice. <laughs> you lose a piece of bait, he has it in his mouth. One of you guys lost a piece of bait. Yeah, he's right here. You want it back? No. <laughs> here. That's the one that you that you almost had. <laughs> Got him over there. Uh, yeah. He may come off. Find out. I got one. Little Rodney doing work for me. Yeah. No. Decent one. Probably short. He is short. He's going home. It's the name of the game. Weeding through the small ones. Probably like a 10 to 1 ratio if you're doing really well of uh, throwback to keeper. Usually it's more like 20 to 1, but today we're doing all right. Got a pretty good ratio going. Good grade of fish biting for us in this area. Oh, yeah. They're biting. Ah, snapper. Dang it. Lazy one coming up. Ah, spinner. 
Son of a gun. Hello. What is your name, sir? Got one here. Oh yeah? You're alive. Red snake. Hey. Do you like Boston mackerel? Oh, I do not. I'm sorry. Egg. <laughs> what you got? Oh, double. Grant. I need that. I got a folly. What you got over there, Nate? That might be a good one. One. What color? It's a red one. I got one, too. You got Nate? Red. Red one. What? Let's see what I got. Oh, I got a brown one. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, nice. Look at that. This guy just threw up a stargazer. This is an evil little guy. I can't believe he ate him. This thing's lead anything. See that? Nice. Yeah. These things are nasty little critters. Crazy looking things. Sea bass will eat anything. Anything. Oh yeah. Oh, another one! Another lizard! Yeah! Woohoo! Lizard. Oh, yeah, Nate. There you go. That's the best one today so far. Woo! Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Big guy! Lay flat for me. Lay flat. Okay. All right. I know. I know, buddy. I know. Stop. Stop doing what you're doing. All right, about 14 and a half, Coney that. Nice. What have you been eating? I don't know, it doesn't look very appetizing. Make them a little miss. That's one thing about sea bass fishing, it definitely gets a boat very dirty very fast. As you can see, that's stuff everywhere, everywhere. They throw up full speed and the bait you use is bloody and cut bait and whatever. It's a dirty man sport, but the payoff is very good. Very good fillets. Back, back to back. Aw, oh, small one. Rodney. Oh, 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 nice. oh, oh, that's a good one. That, that's a good one. Yeah. Look, he ate both the baits. Cause I was, I let it sit here. Wow, you glutton. I let it sit here cause he, he had a fish over there. So I had this in the rod holder. Ate both the baits. Oh, glutton, got you killed, buddy. Last double meal you'll have. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what we got? Double. Top one might make it. Yep. Woohoo! Top hey, one Mark. might be there. Lord. Thanks, Mark, you're doing great. You're doing good over there, buddy. <laughs> What is Mark it? got a double as well. That's a uh, sand bass. They don't have a size. You can keep him. Nice. See Nathan? Already put <laughs> Very cool. Hey, don't compare him to Nathan. While dealing with those two, Rodney's doing work for me again. Go, Rodney, go. Go, Rodney. Hey. One that's, that's... going to be close there. Oh, nah, short. Rodney has failed me. What you doing over there, Mark? I'm trying to catch the smallest one. He's on. He's got the feel for it right now. Oh, that's him. Yeah, that's a good oh, one. Oh, there's a good that's one. That's him. In the boat, in the boat. Fish ain't boat B. Yeah, I don't even have to measure that one. Look at that long tail. Yeah, Ooh. look at that long tail, Mark. Oh, long tail. I can't. I had to pull this one out of his belly. That long tail's oh. dead, boy. I had to hey, up. and before this drop, Mark said, I swear he said, if we're gonna get the smallest one, and he got two of the smallest ones, yeah. It's a skill shot. There you go. That's actually very impressive, calling your shots. You could have said, like, I'm going to get the biggest one. No, no. He, he settled for the smallest one. Everybody does the biggest. <laughs> yeah. Wanted to be different. Got to be special. Yeah. Biggest one yet. Crushing the lizards. Lizard crush. <laughs> Best pal, Rodney. Doing it again. Oh, chonker. Nice. Oh, chonker. Thank you, Rodney. Two more fish tacos. He followed it all the way to the boat. Oh, buddy, what poor luck. My swordfish friends are gonna love you. He followed it all the way up. That sucks for you, buddy. Sucks for you. Oh yeah, that's him. That's him. 
Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ronnie's back at it. He's pulling pretty good. Hey, and he's going to the box. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Double small ones. This box is looking pretty good right now. I don't have to say. Look at that. Added bonus, baby. Pretty lane snapper. Look at him. Not too common when you get him in shore like this. That's a big one too. Nice. Pretty guy. Heck yeah, he's gonna make a nice meal. Yeah, look at that guy. Pretty line snapper. Yeah. It's a good cap right there. Full fucking of fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, I should have shoved him. <laughs> Boys, evil looking SOB lizard fish. These are decent grouper baits. I get bugged all the time by my swordfish friends to keep these so they can use them on their daytime stuff. But today I'm gonna to be eating one. They are absolutely terrifying looking. I'd never want to get bit by one. Um, they're like wider than they are tall. So I think they're gonna be fat fully. I don't know. Hopefully these things aren't toxic or something stupid like that. But uh, wow, yeah, pretty that's some pretty white meat right there. So the flays are so thick. Oh gosh. This is a really sharp knife. I'm surprised I'm not cutting through here. This is a brand new knife. I got pretty tough bones. That's actually kind of ridiculous. Right. Their scales are really weird. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. But like they're like fanned. Like look like a hand. It is really weird. You see that? Really strange. Not terrible looking meat. I'm still not excited to eat it, but it's not that bad. Oh, they have, they have nasty pin bones the whole way down. That's, oh wow. It's like you got pin bones that, ugh. They like got pin bones down through here and like right here too and in the middle. Ugh. I just got way less excited to eat it. I take, I retract my statement about, you know, being stoked about it. That is so weird. Ugh, I don't like that. It's like three sets of pin bones. Oh God, what have I got myself into? The stuff I do for content. Yeah, this meat's like see-through. I don't have a bloodline or anything on the other side. I guess I'll try to cut this out. It's like you can still feel. Uh, I hate that. There's like oh, that's such a weird now, one bone thing, structure. One thing we used to do with like the uh, pick roll that you used to eat, they were the same way. Yeah. And once you fry it, the bone just just disintegrate. Do they? Mm -hmm. I guess I'll try it both ways. I don't know if you heard of that, but Chad said, what was that, pickerel? Yeah, like freshwater cooters. No jack, freshwater jacks. Oh, okay. So the bones just fry out. I guess I'll see if that's going to be the case or not. You'll know it when you chew it. Yeah, that's right. You guys get to see my reaction on that. That is so strange. I've never had to come across a fish with this kind of bone structure. All right, well. Hey, whoa, Jesus, Johnson, that scared me so bad. <laughs> Oh God, hey, look at this. Yeah, get out of here. I wouldn't snip at me earlier. Get out of here, go get it. I'm pooping on my deck. All right, boys, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. I'm not excited about that. <laughs> okay, lizard fish, white looking fillets. Um, they do have these satanic pin bones. They have three levels of pin bones, three layers, three lines, whatever. Um, this fish is of the devil. It looks like it's from the devil. 
this is probably gonna kill me from poison. These pin, I mean, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can pit, uh, pull them out. I've seen it before, like, the guys in the salmon factory, you can just like, they use like little needle, or uh, uh, the, what's it called? The little, the little pincher things, and they just go dig, 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 and they pull the pin bones out of the uh, salmon. Tweezers. Tweezers, yeah. <laughs> I don't pluck my eyebrows, I don't know. So let's see if I can, so you can cut, that one's pretty predominant right there, but look, look, Ugh. you can see them. Let's see if I can actually pull it out. Oh, that's way bigger than I thought it was. We're gonna have an oil fire. I know. Outside. Doesn't matter, I'm probably gonna die from this anyways. Oh my God, okay. Again. Hey, all right. Okay, okay. turn that off. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. Yeah. All right, nice. we're gonna get this over real quick. Again, you can kind of see the pin bone lines right there, right there, and right there. So I'm I'm just gonna put my face in the fan. I am going to just blacken it because I don't want to spend 10 minutes on a fish that is made by Satan. It is very white meat though. A Trojan horse, if you will. That's way too much, Chef Paul. What a waste of Chef Paul. On a fish made by Lucifer. Okay. Ooh, God, this is gonna be sizzling. Ready? Coming close. Ready? Whoa! That was not <laughs> <laughs> what I thought it would be. Anti climax. Yeah. See, this is how I know it's of the devil. It is literally smoking us to the point of almost suffocation. I'll flip it. Also, the pin bones will be easier to pull out once. Oh, God. We did just black and fish in this before, so that's well, this is all like the burn off seasoning from that. But that's kind of how I like it anyway. So it's not even that big of an issue. The fish of Lucifer is done. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. So, when I was cleaning this, you guys saw that Chad originally said that the pin bones would burn out. Uh, and then he kind of, he actually retracted his statement after he felt the pin bones because they're a lot bigger than what they are in pickerel. Whatever hell fish he said. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're still in here. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, look at this. It's actually very white meat. It's, you know, it'd probably be good if it weren't for the, you know, unending rows of pin bones. See, that's pretty damn white, good looking, satis I mean, uh, it's pretty good looking meat if you could get around the pin bones. Uh, I'm going to try to get on the outside of these. I think I did. Kind of get this top layer. Oh, okay, cool. I can pick them out. Gross. The toxins or the pin bones will kill me. The things I do for content. Lizard fish. It just tastes like nothing. You can just say it's not good. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's just like the most bland fish there ever was. It has no flavor. This is like a perfect restaurant fish. They could just like marinate it and make it taste whichever way they like. It's really bland. And uh, it kind of melts in your mouth. Sure. But not in a good way. Like, I'm trying to think. It's like if you put cotton in your mouth and it just kind of shrinks. It's kind of like eating a lizard fish. So I'm going to use them for swordfish baits for the rest of forever now. <laughs> Don't be eating these things, folks. You might die. I might die. So, thank you for watching this. Probably my last video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Um, I wanna get my post-mortem 100K sub plaque. So please make that happen for me. They'll put it on my tombstone. I love you guys. See y'all next time.